Well, hello everyone. My name is Bricky, of course. Welcome back to another episode. Episode 3 of Subnautica today. I was told the closer the forehead, the better. And you know what? I gotta agree with you on that one. The closer the forehead, it, it probably is a better idea. I, I, I don't disagree with those decisions you've made right there. So I'm going to appreciate your feedback and do my very- you never say that Bricky never did nothing for you, okay? Never said that Bricky never did anything for you, because Bricky has done plenty for you, specifically in shoving his forehead very, very close to you. Which, I mean, let's be honest, we all want a little bit of that. We all want a little bit of that forehead goodness. So, with that being said, we're actually going to make ourselves a little bit of a waterproof locker right here to store some of the titanium we just got. Now, normally, I need to start making habitat builders and shit, and those habitat builders and shit, of course, because you got to remember the and shit part, there we go. Will help me be able to put a bunch of extra new stuff around because I have a little bit more stuff than I would honestly enjoy having right at the current moment. But uh, luckily, I've got my... I love this mobile vehicle bay so much. Mobile vehicle bay as well as my sea mod here. So, that would mean that our next step well, we have a couple choices. We have... Well, we've already investigated the two life pods. Okay, that is another message. Well, that changed my mind pretty damn quickly. Let's see. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Hey. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah. I didn't know how bad... How many of you... I, I didn't know. You shouldn't have talked so much shit then. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Man, I really do appreciate the voice acting in this game. Honestly, I really do appreciate it a lot. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. God, it feels so good to have this thing again. Okay, that is the other life pod we need to go to. Okay, well, there's two things I want to make sure I have. Um, I don't have enough another power cell to put inside this, but that's okay. I can deal with that for the time being. What we're actually looking for, for now, is I need a habitat builder, which comes from a wiring kit and a computer chip. Okay, and the wiring kit is two silver, which is easy. Computer chip is two table coral samples, a copper wire, and gold, which I actually have. I need a little bit more copper. But table coral samples are easy because I just have a knife. So I could actually make these things. Because I need that habitat builder. But until then, I'm actually going to go check out 2nd Officer Keen's last broadcast location. Which is... Pretty far away. And, um... Kind of deep. I don't like that. That normally doesn't, that's normally this doesn't have mean good things. Oh, there's a stalker. Hey, buddy. I'm not scared of you as much anymore. Okay, that was a little loud. Oh, there it is again. Wow, there's actually, there's actually a lot of stalkers here. God damn. Oh, there's the reefbacks. Man, sometimes you, you forget what are reefbacks and what are uh, simply just... Well, what are reapers. Uh, do I actually have the blueprint for the laser cutting tool yet? No, I don't. Damn it, I need that blueprint to get into a lot of these areas right here. Which is, oh, damn it, fish. Which is a little bit unfortunate, because I really do need that blueprint. That's important, and I, I'm gonna have this, this issue where I'm gonna keep going to areas like this and never know which one I already looked at or not. I, I don't know which area I've already discovered. So, it's gonna become a kind of a problem. Oh my god, look at this place. Oh, is that a bioreactor? Uh, maybe. Oh, it's just a sea moth fragment. That's eh, whatever. Free titanium. God damn, this place is intense looking. All right, let's keep it going. Actually, I'm going to stop right here for a quick second so I can snag titanium. All right, that's fine. And silver ore. Sweet. That's got one. I need, I think, two more. Or one more, maybe. No, no I only need one more. No, I only need one more. What is down here? I recognize this area. This seems new. Uh, maybe not new, but definitely different, I'd say. I don't like where I am. Oh, no. 
Oh. I... Do they have a map in this game yet? Oh, uh, um... Mmm. Uh... Copper roar, thank you. Uh, I don't... I don't know how I feel about this. It's a little dark out. Um... It's a little scary. I don't remember exactly where this is. I don't... is... I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I see that little fish over there. That fish over there wants to bite my ass. Lead. Lead. Damn it, too much lead. Yeah. I need I need some damn uh, sandstone. Okay, come or not well, this is sandstone. Copper ore? Titanium. Silver ore? Gold. Eh. I already have gold, which is fine. Ah, I don't know where this is. This is either in the in the mushroom forest, which is okay. I can do the mushroom forest. I cannot do the dunes. If it's the dunes, I'd rather die. I would rather die if it's the fucking dunes. All right, silver roar. Hell yeah. Copper roar. Hell, actually, hell yeah. Gold. Hell. You know what? Hell. Hell yeah. This is. Mushroom forest? I'm good. Nah. I'm alright. It's okay. I'm good. What hit me? Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause I know. Oh, I know the cause. Oh, I very much know the cause. I 100% know the cause. Never mind. Nope. Nope. Fuck that. When I get my Cyclops, maybe. When I get my Cyclops, okay. I'll go back there. But for now, for this time being, fuck that. I don't think so. I am not going to become another one of these goddamn statistics. Okay, I don't know what hit me, but something took down to 65% on my Seamoth. So, I don't know what struck me like that, but whatever it was, was very unkind. Whatever it was, was not a nice thing, and I'm- I want to stay as far away from that as I possibly can. Alright, where's my- where's my knife? There we go. Survival knife. Okay. I need two table coral samples. There we go. You see, now- Now we need that habitat builder. There's a reason why we need the habitat builder, is mainly for storage and the possibility of getting new stuff like a scanner room. And that's important, especially in this day and age. Because a scanner room simply just gives you more stuff, which is naturally important, obviously, but... Computer chip. Excellent. Wiring kit. Oh, advanced wiring kit. Oh, excellent. So, if I can make tools... Habitat builder. Oh, I can also make a propulsion cannon. Those are very important. to construct habitats. Of extreme Damn straight they are. All right, so now we can start base building. A oh wait, where's my sea moth? There we go. We can begin our base building. Well, we're actually going to need a pretty significant amount of titanium in order to begin our base building. So I'm going to grab as much of that as I possibly can. Uh, and this storage is also titanium. I don't know why I have a thing of metal salvage in there. That's kind of dumb of me to put in there. But now, well, we're going to need a little bit of glass, too. And by a little bit, I mean we're going to need quite a bit of glass. But that can come a little bit later. For the time being, I actually want to go to the Bloodgrass Plains. Um, I don't like 
this freaking place over here with second officer Keen being dumb, but I do want to go to the Bloodgrass Plains because that is a nice, very pretty area to stick my base in. And the enemies of that area are not that, uh, well, terrifying, to be perfectly honest. They're, they're not, the, not the nicest of things, but there we go. Right on the verge between biomes. That's where I want to place my base. Right on the verge between biomes. Right here looks pretty solid, I'd say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this fish, though. Fuck you. I don't like that fish. All right, there's that shark. Actually, this little pit, right? Oh, no, I should build it on the top of this area. That'd be so cool looking. This little, like, I can go from, like, little top part to top part. That'd be neato. I'm gonna do that. All right, habitat builder. Um, bada bing, bada boom. All right, where's my foundation? Foundation, foundation, there it is. Oh, you need lead? Fuck off. Little shit. Uh, these were originally only, um... I hate, that, I hate that stupid thing right there. I'm gonna fuck you up. Ow! Come back here, little shit! Did, like, no damage, but, you know. Fuck that thing. Okay. I got another message on the radio, too. Oh, there's my scanner room. Um, no, I need a... Oh, I don't have the multi-purpose room quite yet. That's unfortunate. Hey, wait, wait, hey, it's there again. Fuck you. Wrecked. Wrecked. Absolutely erect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, uh, I need a compartment. Let's start with an X-shaped compartment. This is probably a good start. Or, er, no, let's do a, a standard tubular compartment. Okay, and then we can connect... Uh, let's now nah, let's not do that. Let's do uh, an L. There we go. This will work out. This will work out well. We can make the hatch there. Oh, I need more quartz. Okay, I'll get that. I'll get that hatch. I need that quartz ready. All right, I'm gonna go find myself some quartz. All right, let's continue the base building now. I like this little. I like this spot. I think this is cool. I don't know what I just hit. Fucking little those little dudes. God damn it. Okay. Anyway, I like this spot up here. I think it's very cool looking. It's very, it's very neato, so... Alright, now I got this, I need the hatch. There we go. Hatch... Assembled. And now... Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. You see, it's cool to be in here, but there's no oxygen. Which is unfortunate. Uh, I also didn't realize that these two things do not, like... Go with each other, which is a little bit awkward. So let's make them go with each other. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. T compartment. Excellent. There we go. Ah, we're making our- we're starting things up. We're starting- we're starting it. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So, what we need more right now is, uh, well, we're gonna need some more foundations, of course. But what I do need is that scanner room. That scanner room is incredibly important right now. Because that's how I'm gonna go ahead and figure out where a large majority of the things I need are. So let us, um... Oh, right, I need another foundation. Crap, I need another foundation. I don't have the lead for that. Well... Guess who's gonna go get some more lead? Oh, right, bro, there's a message on this thing. What's up? This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Oh. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Oh, crap. Corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Approximate orange origin transmission? Approximate? Oh, it's in data bank, but I'm not seeing the Where is it? Where where's the life pod? There's there's this one, which we've already we already said, yeah, no, no thank you. I wonder where the other one is. Ah crap. That's not good at all. That's far from good. Something's screaming at me again. Oh, there's a shark that wants to eat me. All right. I need that. I need two more lead. Your silver ore. Ah, that's one lead. Okay, we're making our way. Wait, was that a lead deposit down? Ah, nuts salt. 
damn. This, this place is, is covered in salt. Um, not the good kind of salt either. The, not, not, not the fun salt. Not the I'm so mad salt. I'm talking like actual salt salt. But this salt is really not used for much. It's used for like preservation of food at the most. And even then, it's not that important, you know? I really like the preservation of food. Oh my god, that thing's running at me fast. Jesus, that thing really wanted my dick. Holy crap. Aha! Lead. Sweet. Alright, we got what we needed. I actually, it's probably behoove of me to make a beacon. That might be a good idea. Um, a beacon could be incredibly helpful so I know exactly where my base is every time. Like, I see it right over there, you know, next to this giant Aurora wreckage, which is, I mean, granted, very cool looking, but, you know, un uninteresting. But, making it in the Bloodgrass Plains is a very fun idea because there's so much cool stuff that can go on in the Bloodgrass Plains. Okay, so I have the lead now. Let us pop this thing out. So, for the Habitat Builder, we have the Foundation, of course. Oh, I can't make that there because my Seamoth is, uh, is in the way. Okay. Foundation. Get that thing going. Excellent. And those legs should pop out, right? What happened to the legs? The legs are gone. Wait, wait, wait. I, I have an idea. Let me try something. Uh, let's make one quick tubular compartment. Actually, let's make two quick tubular compartments. And then let's make a vertical connector. One. And two. And then we'll make another tubular compartment. Which immediately makes a scanner room. Ah, now look at that! You see, that's just cool looking. That's just, that's just neato. Ah ha ha. There we go. Now we're making progress. All right. So, I think I need to make a ladder, but that can come later. So, if we get in here, we can run over here and then we make a ladder. Uh, here we are. Ladder. Connects two floors. So then, if I want to, I can climb down. And here we are. Scanner room. Sweet. Unfortunately, this place still has no oxygen, so I'm going to die soon. Let's get the hell out of here and back into my sea moth. You see, this is the this is like 90% of the reason you get a sea moth is for consistent oxygen whenever you need it. Alright. There we go. Little tubular thing going on down there. Okay, so what's interesting now is that this I need power. Uh, well, not interesting, but it's what's something I need. I need power. So, in order to get power, I have two choices. I have solar panel or bioreactor. Now, bioreactor is pretty easy to make. I just need a wiring kit and titanium, but I also need some lube. But I can get some lube. Um, also, there's the solar panel, which I can actually make now. Um, it only works during the day, I would have guessed, but it's still something. So, let us make that solar panel. Okay, uh, right. Ah, here we go. Solar panel. So let's place you right up here. Quartz, copper, titanium ore. Okay, I can't make another one because I'm out of quartz. I need more titanium and stuff. Or copper ore, not titanium ore, but you know. Okay, power is still minimal because there's just no sunlight. Who would have guessed that solar doesn't work without sunlight? So the second thing I would need to make then would be a bioreactor. Bioreactor is right here. I need a titanium Detecting wiring kit and lubricant. In the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Okay. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, how do I make a fabricator? Oh, that's so easy. That's so much easier than it used to be. Table coral sample, sample and titanium? Wait, am I out of titanium? Oh wow, I'm actually out of titanium. That's so weird. That never happens. God damn, okay, I gotta go back and get more titanium. Oh shit. 
Okay, but table coral sample and titanium is so easy to get. Plus, I need a little bit more quartz, so I go, go over here and grab some of that stuff for the base. Quartz one, quartz two, quartz three. Ah, so much quartz. Excellent. All right, back to brick base one. Enter there. Oxygen Welcome is flowing. Thank you very much, base. Climb on down. Here's my scanner room. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, well, first things first. Actually, I'm going to leave my base. I know, that's dumb. But I got to do something real fast. I need to create myself this bioreactor. It's the first thing first. So you probably... Oh, wait, no, that go... Shit! Bioreactor only goes in a multi-purpose room. Crap! Oh, damn it! Fuck. Okay, right. It only goes in a multi-purpose room. Son of a bitch. Okay, well... You know how it goes. Oh, I can't. I can't do that. I need to... How do I make a... How do I make something attach itself to the other? I guess I really can't unless I give it a T-shape. Oh, well, that's the case. I'm just going to deconstruct you and make you into a T-shape. T-shape. That's, uh... Nope, I don't, I don't want that. I want the T-shape compartment. That's not how that's supposed to look at all. No, please stop. Eh! God damn it. There we go. Okay. T-shape. There we go. Better. Better. Okay. This will eventually become a multi-purpose room. Until the, for the time being, it's simply just going to be a tube. But for, for, it'll eventually become a multi-purpose room. Okay. Now that's done and done. Back in here with my oxygen. Now I can create my fabricator. Where are you, fabricator? Excellent. Right at the end of the hallway. Perfect. And now that you're here, I can make myself some water, which I am actually desperately close to, uh, or desperately need right now. Excellent. So now, this is one of the times where it becomes very, very rare that you ever even need to... Shut up. That you ever actually need to go back to your life pod, because there's just so much here that you don't really need to, need to worry about. You know, everything that you need is here. So, now that that's done with, I can leave. And... Okay, can I make another solar panel? I need another copper ore. That's fine. I'll get that later. But for the time being, let's see. Oh, well, first things first. Let me drink that water. Slurp, slurp. Vital signs. And light. then I need to drop that beacon right on top of here. Excellent. And then I'm going to edit the beacon name. It's going to be called Brick. That's not how that is supposed to be. Brick Base 1. Ha. Hey. Hell yeah. All right, so if I ever go really far away, it's right there. I'll always know where my base is. Excellent. My base is very non-functional right now, and it will look a lot cooler later on, I hope. But for the time being, it's a it's a very, it's very like, you know, nothing special. I'll put a hatch down here, just in case I want to only go to the scanner room. But for the time being, hello, scanner room. Okay, so... Ah, you see, I can look at all this fun stuff here if I want to find any of, you know, any new things going on. So let's try, let's go fragments. So we can start scanning fragments. I can also use the fabricator to uh, increase certain things like upgrade scanner room range, speed. But these are all like, I'm not going to get magnetite for a long time. And the camera drone, I need computer chip and, and mag I, don't, I can't get magnetite anytime soon, so. I am looking for fragment pieces, which I've actually found two. But I can also, where are the cameras? There we are. I can control the cameras as well. Send them out to certain places. So there's a few fragments out there. You see, you see this? Isn't this cool? Isn't this neato? Wait, actually, I can use this camera because I can go a super far distance away and use this to go find out what the hell's going on over here without risking my own life. You see, this is the nice functionality of this thing. You can get, wait, actually, I'm trying to remember if this thing actually gets fuzzy and won't let you see after a certain distance. Oh! Oh, oh, shit! Laser cutter! Oh crap, laser cutter piece! You see, this is what the cameras are for. Where's my Seamoth? Seamoth? Oh. This is what the cameras are for. This is the reason we have the cameras. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Where's camera one? There's camera one. Laser cutter piece. I need that for these wrecks. Uh, wrecks. You see, it said there's a couple of fragments in there. I need to get the scanner room HUD. Because if I get the scanner room HUD, I can put it right here. And by doing so, I'll be able to visualize from my Seamoth everything around the area. I can find the fragments, the pieces. I, I won't need to use the cameras to find shit, you know? And that's very, very useful. Um, oh, is this going to be another one? I didn't even notice this one. It is! Yes! Oh, thank goodness I needed the laser cutter. Like I mentioned earlier in this episode, it really sucks not being able to know what's what and where's where. Don't look at me, shark. Shark boy and lava girl. Hell yeah. Oh, there's my little camera drone. Look at that little guy. He's so cute. Those reef backs, man, they are loud and they're mildly frightening. <gasps> I didn't realize I was that close to those things. I didn't realize I was that close to warpers. Fuck, those are warpers. Oh, if you don't know what they are, they're. And they're, they're enemies, but they teleport, and they teleport you. And they can't fuck with you when you're in your Cyclops, but they can rip you out of your Seamoth and out of your prawn suit. And they'll put you in a random location. They do a lot of damage. They're not that scary if you keep your distance, but... They're pretty scary if you don't. Mainly because they yank you out of your important areas. Okay, what do we got here? Damn, that's a lot of fragments. Oh, damn. So, all right, let me control this camera. Oh, it's loading. That's kind of cool. I think it gets blurrier the farther away I get. Yeah, it's starting to get blurry. What's down here? I need to figure out what the hell is down here. I can't see very well, though. This is getting a bit farther than I'd like. Nope. I gotta back up. I can't go that far. It's not letting me. It, I, my vision's getting too blurry. It, I'm not, it's not letting me. Damn it, I should put the scanner room closer. Or maybe there's an upgrade to increase the camera range. I'm not quite sure. Ah, damn it. Shit. Oh, well. That's okay, though. I think this is gonna be our stopping point for the time being. Look at all these fragments right here. Some of them could be laser cutters or, or even pieces of the Cyclops. There could be so much here. And if I can get those laser cutter pieces ASAP, I can work my way through all of these Aurora wrecks and we can really get far. So thank you so much for joining me on episode 3 of Subnautica. Hope you enjoyed your time here. I've been loving these videos and I will see you on the next. Bye-bye. Thank you.